cross them and they chop them and they hmm, stab them and all other butcher and prostitute and whatever that he has to initiate and all the lepros and hemorrhoid people that touch him, embrace him and pray to him. Where do you think all this dead go? What do you think the master come here for? To drink tea and eat cookie? The master is a sacrificed lamb that is spoken in the Bible. Hmm? The God pers- pers- personage, God personif- uh, personified to help his own children to lessen the burden of suffering so that they can be cleansed, purified, and go home to be worthy to be the son and the daughter again in heaven. That's why the master has to suffer a lot. All the masters suffer. You name any master who don't suffer, they are fake. Yeah. Mm, just I remember now. <laughs> yes, it seems contradictory to all the teaching, right? That if you are positive, you are happy, uh, you attract happiness and positiveness. That is true for disciples. <laughs> master is not, and the master is different. In order for the disciple to be happy, carefree, and and uh, uh, you know how say, free of suffering, the master has to pay the debt. Somehow, but in lesser degree, you see what I mean? But even in lesser degree, if too many together, then it's also a big bulk of, of, of debt. And even a billionaire, when he has to pay billion of dollars, it's still a big bulk of money. Ah. Mm. And if he asks for more and more than what he has, then he <laughs> suffer more. <laughs> but the, all the masters are very compassionate. Even they know the road is suffering, they still do it. They have no choice, it's their quality. Sacrifice and love is their quality. They can't change. Yeah? Nothing can frighten them out of this job. They just continue. That's the way it is. Okay, what else? Yeah. Hi, Master. Okay. Master, if you ascend, ascend can you still help us? Can. Yes. That we spoken of many days already. Huh? Because you are so pure that you are in very high level and the Christ was like that and he ascended. And that's my my question. You Is still that ascend? I mean go up? Yeah. Yeah, still. I told you yesterday already. Oh, okay. We already, uh, I say the Master is not the body. The, the real master is not the body, therefore even the body goes, the, the connection remains, yeah? And the transformation body is still here. The body is only for interaction right now, for the physical contact. So you can see, you can talk, you can pull out your problem. That's the only purpose, and also to suffer. <laughs> it's the only purpose of the, the, the physical mm, body of the master, there's no need. The master don't need a physical body to help anybody. You understand? But in order for the master to contact with the physical beings, he has to be in a physical body as well. That's the only purpose. But once the contact is made, yeah, every disciple has a transformation body of the master. Because the master has thousand, million, trillion, 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 trillion of bodies can be limitless of bodies. Each one is assigned to one master. <laughs> so 24 hours, uh, take watch of that disciple until he grows. Okay? So it uh, doesn't matter if the master is still here or not, there's no question. Yeah. Bonjour, Maître. Bonjour. Uh, moi, ce n'est c'est pas, c'est pas vraiment une question que j'ai, parce que tout à l'heure, j'avais deux questions, mais j'étais en train de penser et mes deux questions ont été ré- répondues à l'instant. Mm-hmm. Euh, c'est plutôt euh, quelque chose que j'aimerais dire. Euh, euh, au début, j'avais beaucoup de questions. Je pensais à toutes sortes de choses, toutes sortes de questions en ce qui concerne le monde, en ce qui concerne toutes sortes de choses. Et euh, toutes mes questions 
ont été répondues les uns après les autres. Dedans, hein? Oui, à l'intérieur. Euh, puis à travers vos, vos, vos cassettes, euh, <rire> les vidéos, les, les, les livres, etc. C'est vrai. Euh, moi, ce que j'aimerais dire ça, parce que je sens que c'est important que je dis ça en tant que tel, c'est que tout ce que Maître dit est de la plus grande importance. Même la, la moindre petite chose, il faut la prendre importante puis la, la garder en tant que telle. Vous êtes gentil. <rire> Très Parce gentil. Parce que c'est euh, dans son enseignement est contenu tout ce qu'on a besoin pour réussir et dans la méditation est contenu tout ce qu'on a besoin pour réussir et particulièrement on a tout là-dedans pour passer ce qu'on appelle l'âge d'or qui s'en vient en tant que tel. Donc, euh, il faut vraiment prendre tout au sérieux, la moindre petite chose. Euh, J'aimerais aussi vous remercier de, de nous avoir apporté un, un cadeau aussi merveilleux. Euh, J'aimerais vous remercier d'être venu nous sauver en tant que tel. Je sais, pour les autres, mais pour moi en tant que tel, c'est comme ça que je me sens. Parce que j'étais dans un monde perdu, à, ayant toutes sortes de questions. Et là, maintenant, je suis quelqu'un d'autre. J'ai un but, je sais où ce que je m'en vais. Et je sais quoi, 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 comment y arriver. Mais merci beaucoup, Maître. Mmh, je vous en prie. Uh, hello, Master. I really agree with uh, this guy. That's what I think, too. Uh, I would like to say that uh, I'm initiated since one year. And uh, I don't have a lot of experience, but all my life around me is more beautiful. Yes. Uh, I feel more noble. Yes. Uh, my relation is uh, better. Yes. My family too. And I think uh, I think this is the real miracle. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, m later, the experience I think will come if I continue to practice. Yes, of course. Uh, some people have experience every day, you know, inside, light and sound. Some people have just sound and the light is faint or dim or only occasionally appear. Some people have light a lot and sound very dim. It's due to concentration. Yeah. And also concentration power is different from each person and karma and background and uh, integration with other and, and you know, all kind of things. And the, thing, the people and the thing they contact with. And sometimes they eat uh, impure food without knowing also. Yes, and associate with somebody who is too heavy karma without them knowing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, and etc., etc., yeah? But um, when, even in such a case, their life changed drastically for the better all the time. And they become more loving, wiser, and uh, more free from the burdens of attachment and, you know, greed and lust and sorrow of this world. That is the fruit of the real, real, intelligent, diligent, and honest practitioner. We have to practice in order to have this benefit. I really think this is the way to change the world, to change ourselves. Yes. First. This is the only solution, I think. Yes. And uh, I would like to thank you for all this change and the cor courage you have to, to, to do all this work and all the, the methods you give to us. Thank, thank you. yourself. And I'm very proud that you... Uh, the, You are a woman, and it's, it's very important, I think, at this oh, time. really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. the way you should be. I think it's, it's time for humanity to have a, a, a woman master. It's time now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, for a change, huh? Male-dominated world. <laughs> for a change. Now, God just wants to show us that it's no male, no female. When you become a Buddha, or you are always Buddha, there's no such thing as woman cannot be enlightened, or cannot be a teacher, or cannot be, be God-realized. They all come from God. Where else? In fact, I tell you, from all common sense, and observation. Women are better equipped spiritually. Yes, I'm not uh, kind of discriminating. I'm just telling you now, since you have <clears throat> I realized the truth. <laughs> 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 yes, you look at your life, look at our life, and then you make the comparison. Woman in the beginning is equipped to be a mother, not a man. 
Man is endowed with physical strength and intelligence and uh, courage to go out into the world, to fight with the universe, to bring back the supply, yeah, and the comfort and the protection for the family. A woman are endowed with love, patience, endurance, and uh, particular common sense to take care of the household, you know, to make it beautiful and welcome for the husband to come back. Yeah? Man is not, uh, uh, <laughs> I would say, is not blessed with the ability to raise children and to bear all that uh, uh, details of a kids raising program. <laughs> a hundred and thousand and things to think of. So women are more in detail, women more detail uh, capable. Yes, and uh, the woman has more common sense all the time. Whenever a man has trouble, he, if he can talk to his wife, the problem is three percent, uh, three quarters solved already. She always bless him with more wisdom and insight and encourage him to dig out his intelligence and uh, resourcefulness within himself and love him. And he, she can love him and love the whole children as well. But the man is uh, hardly can stay with children for so long. But they can do greater things, require strength and, and courage, you see. Actually, it takes a many lifetimes to become a woman. Many lifetimes. <laughs> uh, many lifetimes uh, of male experience to enable you to become a woman. Yes, men had to gather a lot, a lot of information, a lot of common sense, a lot of experiences in order to be a woman, to be able to raise another human being that is God incarnated, in, in order to bear that burden for nine months, sometimes many burdens. <laughs> Yes, without complaint, with all love and with all patience, with all excitement and expectation of a new life to come. So man is not endowed with all this patience and common sense. So in fact, woman is more spiritually advanced. That's why all the suffering comes to the woman and she can bear it. She can bear the PMS, <laughs> the menstrual pain, the labor pain, the, 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 the bearing pain, you know, and inconvenience of a year long or nine months, in some case longer, some case shorter, and she can bear the burden of raising children for twenty years at least. It's easy to go out and earn money, I tell you, it's more clean cut and less responsible, less bothersome, ne? less nerves cracking, yeah? You are with a kid every day, twenty-four hours. But, but the woman can do that. That's why women and children are more close, and that's why sometimes men are jealous with his wife when the kids are born, because they're so close to each other. They talk, they eat, they chat chat all day long, and the men feel kind of left out. So, <laughs> so women do have to be careful. After you have kids, try to protect your husband's jealousy. You know, because he has the right to. Suddenly, there's some being coming between them. <laughs> he used to have all her for himself, all attention on him, and now it's divided. And maybe he even have none left. Yeah, so the man feel very hurt, and some of the marriage break down after the kids arrive. And the man doesn't even understand why, and the woman also don't understand why. They cannot pinpoint what the fault. It's just a lack of affection and attention. So do try to make a lot of time for your husband whenever possible. Kids need attention, but your husband is more important. Without him, there's no kids. <laughs> <clears throat> and even without him, what would you do with the kids? You know, it will affect their future too, without a father. Huh? So for everybody's sake, take care of your husband. Huh? He's number one, anytime, all time. In the Bible, it also says, so, woman, uh, I'll say, subdue yourself, I'll say, give yourself unto your husband so that you can find happiness. 
Hmm? In the Bible, it says something like that. Is that right? Is there any Bible scholar around here? Like yeah, yeah, something like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, it means that you you should. Uh, I would say you should. Uh, you should always pay attention to your husband, love him, be with him, support him. That's what it means in a wide term. <laughs> Okay, what else I have forgotten? Yes? Master, I just have to say this. Um, as Jesus said, that he was going to his Father and he would send a comforter, you are that comforter to us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's wonderful. You are that comforter. You are <laughs> omnipotent. Your spirit is omnipresent. That's why you're with us all the time. And you always say, not me personally, but not my personal. spirit. Yeah, and personal. it's a blessing. The God that we've been praying to for thousands and thousands of years, the spirit, that same spirit, takes up a new body from time to time. We are recipients at this time to know this one, this comforter. Thank God for Master Ching Hai. Peace. <laughs> Ah, any direct praise always embarrass me. <laughs> but never mind. Let it be true. Huh? <laughs> Hope that be true. According to your experience, it is true. Uh, according to my knowledge, I know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> if it be true, if it serves you, it makes you happy and secure and bring you back to heaven, that's all that counts. Huh? Doesn't matter I know it or not know it. I just be the very ignorant instrument. <laughs> and the more ignorant, the more happy I am. I can do it. If I see too much of the suffering waiting for me and ahead of me, behind me, in front of me, oh, I say, no. <laughs> I say, scared. <laughs> yeah, we feel scared sometimes, you know, if we know too much. <laughs> ah, so God normally don't tell me too much suffering in advance. <laughs> he just wait until the mama say, here you are, you're on your own. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else? Okay. Hi. Um, I have a question about uh, Buddha said it's a blessing to keep good company, and you just said it also. Keep My brother. Com keep company? To keep good company. Oh, yes. Saintly people. Yes. My brother, uh, who I was really rotten to as a child, um, just moved to my home, just moved to my town. Yes. And he has a lot of heavy karma, he has a lot of bad habits and he's kind of a wild man. Mm -hmm. And I love him very much. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of torn between uh, whether or not I should spend a lot of time with him mm -hmm. uh, because I'm a new initiate and I need uh -huh. to get stronger in my practice. I understand. Yes. But I want to because this is the first time we've lived close to each other since we were children. Oh, and now just I'm, on time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, brother, you have to spend a lot of time with your brother. Yeah, maybe you can change him. And in teaching you, you will grow, teaching him, you will grow too. You grow to understand many things that you did not understand before. God will help you, the Master Power will empower you to say things of wisdom and of love so that he may change to your liking. Then you will be a real brother. Yeah, and if you cannot, it's okay. You still have to love him. The, for the choice that he made to live his life. But, uh, you know, you have to live your life as well. And to be, you be uh, more close to the real brothers <laughs> so that you get strength and, you know, you can fit the other one. Don't worry about it. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, ki uh, kids. Oh, brothers, sisters. <laughs> 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 Father, mothers. <laughs> Time to take care of our solar plexus <laughs> center. <laughs> Go eat. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And uh, I still don't feel hungry, but I think you do. Huh? Don't you? Wow, that's a miracle number two. <laughs> miracle number one happened at lunchtime that you ate all the things that they cooked. <laughs> Tomorrow, 
uh, tomorrow will be only uh, half day, right? Okay. I'm glad I took care of all of you last night. So today we just meditate together or talk nonsense, you know, chatting around unimportant things, like brothers say. And tomorrow after lunch uh, we have to get ready for the evening. You know, huh? Okay, so be prepared for tomorrow. Put on your best stuff. Because I've seen some of other performance I put there. Of course, your performance make me yawn <laughs> many a time. But other performance put me right to sleep. <laughs> no, I tell you the truth. Last time I was invited to India and uh, they perform, you know, I went to sleep immediately. <laughs> no, really true, it's true. And when my attendant want to call me, the guards want to call me, they take five minutes. I sit on the chair, but gone. Yeah, and the organizer, so they have to wake me up, you know, try hard. Yeah, I just gone. It's just so. Even if I scold you for making me yawn, be comforted that somebody else put me to sleep. <laughs> I don't mean it as a criticism, you know. I, they really did put me to sleep in somebody. <laughs> I'd say, oh, what else? I better go check up there. You know, here is nothing for me. <laughs> they have tried their best, of course. You know, they have tried their best. But nothing like you. Not even the color, you know. They're very casual. They wear things, you know, that they used to wear ten years ago. And things like that, you know. But I, I'm a colorful person, you know. We are colorful. <laughs> we like everything that God created. To us, uh, the, we like all the color that God have bestowed upon us for our eyes, for for our pleasant liking, for our happiness in life. So we make use of everything that God created. That's why we are colorful. We happy. I like it that way, and we will still remain that way. Every other thing that make put me to sleep, you know, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, the, I sit on the chair. A lot of dig, you know, a lot of dignified people around. They invite a lot of people, not just us. Uh, there is a, a spiritual organization. They are also very charitable, very famous in 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 Pune. First, their name is Pune, you know, the city. When they invited me, they put Pune, so I thought it's another city as well. <laughs> yeah, the name is different. The organization organizer are different, and the city is different. So I didn't have no suspect. And when I go there, <laughs> you know. Their group performed something, and then I just went to sleep right away. So at least you're a little bit better. You just make me yawn only, huh? <laughs> so try your best tomorrow, huh? Whoever, whoever be in the performance tomorrow, you know the supply in performance. Uh, please try your best. Uh, don't don't make me sleep, huh? Okay, huh? <laughs>